It is Manchester United free. Crystal Palace nil. Manchester United through to the Carabao Cup fourth round, baby. After knocking them out, knocking that Crystal Paris, knocking that Eagle down to the ground, like, well, you ain't gonna do anything. You thought you was gonna knock us out? No, we gonna knock your ass down. And on top of that, what a wonderful full debut by Sofia and Amrabat. Sofia and Amrabat and Casemiro in midfield, solid as a rock, solid, solid. Casemiro, a brilliant, brilliant performance from him as well throughout the whole 90 minutes. A man in the match performance, but Amro Pat. Sofian Amro Pat. This guy was everywhere. We play left back, centre back, CDM, centre mid, all over the place. This guy has an engine and he can do a lot of things and do a lot of jobs. And he can orchestrate and allow Manchester United to play in various state type of systems as well. So he was magnificent. Manchester United switched it up. And I love the fact that Casemiro dropped deep and Amrabat dropped deep to set up play. And Amrabat's passing is superb because boy, oh boy. He can pass a ball. And it was so enjoyable to see Amarat do what he has to do. And, and for us to win three goals to nil, you know, we scored some goals. We didn't concede another clean sheet for Onana. What's his name? Yes, another clean sheet for Manchester United. To Eric Tenog must be happy with his squad as well. I am. I know you are. But overall, guys, let's get straight into that game because, of course, Manchester United started that game the first 45 minutes well. We was dominating possession, guys, as throughout the whole 45 minutes. You know what, Crystal Palace? They sat back. They, they're not doing that what the other team do towards us. The other teams attack us. Right through that midfield, but with Sofia Nabrabat and Casemiro in that midfield where there was legs with Hannibal included and Mason Mount, you shall not pass. And they did not pass at all because Manchester United got the first goal. Of course, Alejandro Ganacho, star boy, a low cross from Dalo, which found a way to find Ganacho to finish it off. And Ganacho scoring tenor, come down. Come to her, you know, tranquilo. I'm here. I am here, you know. This guy thinks it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh my god. But Gonacho making it 1 0 to match tonight in the first 45 minutes. And then the man as well. The man that's been on form, scoring goals, assisting. Casse Miro, Casse Hero, getting that second goal for Manchester United in that first half. A beautiful header. And guess what, guys? Man United finally scored from a set piece, a corner. Yes, a corner this season. We've done it. It got taken away from us against Burnley. But today against Crystal Palace, it didn't happen. We scored that set piece. Casse Miro scoring from the corner as well. Making it to a delightful, strong header by that guy. That guy has been on form, on job. Even though people have run past him previously, the last couple of weeks, he's stepped up. In it, proper set to the place. Half time, two notes to Match United. We're thinking, oh, we need to go second half. We need to destroy Crystal Palace, you know. We really need to destroy them. But Match United went out there. Yes, we got the third goal. And that goal came from Marshall and Casemiro again. Oh, lovely assist. A lovely dink cross. And to find Marshall. Marshall, oh, brilliantly finished by Marshall. It was just so elegant. And that's what Marshall does elegant finishing yeah but after that match night the performance died down the moment the substitution was made mount come off amrabat came off and all that stuff match night died down to wind the game down when we thought bruv get the fourth goal like what are you waiting for i want to see goals 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 and goals but match night didn't do that they finished the game with a three nil and of course Manchester United are through to the next round, the fourth round. So that was a comfortable win. That's the game one out of game two against Crystal Palace where we have to play them. Where it really matters, the Premier League this Saturday. So I, 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 I'm happy we beat them out. We beat them. We knocked them out. But the most important thing is this Saturday. Can we beat them in the Premier League? And definitely we can. Play wise today. Oh my God. Casemiro was exceptional. Amrabat was very good as well solid day full debut for him marshall wasn't really in the game but he got the goal um ganacho as well wasn't really in entirely in the game making mistakes as well and not beating his players as much as he can but he still got that goal as well man 
Varane back in defence and even Maguire he was alright I can't even fault Maguire today because everything was okay he did what he was meant to do man of the match today guys has to go to Casemiro a goal and assist don't give the match I can't really think of a don't give the match but I wouldn't give it to anyone but you guys you let me know what your thoughts of today's game against Crystal Palace Manchester United winning 3-0 who what was your thoughts on the game who was your man of the match was it Amrabat was it Casemiro and who's your donkey of the match you guys let me know in the comments and of course until next time Thursday 5pm your latest Manchester United news and your watch along on Saturday but as always guys Remember to subscribe to Red United TV, smash that like button, share across all social media platforms as well. And of course, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it Red United. Your boy is out. Peace.